we are in the very beginning phase. I think there are a lot of industries who are also coming together with us jointly to work on this initiative. There are a lot of uh, industry relevant courses because as the technologies are very disruptive and a lot of things are changing. So we have to also cope up with these changes which is happening. So these changes are, uh, we are trying to get up to that, but I don't say that really we have done remarkable things. We are, there is a lot of left, a lot of things left for us to do things. So, but uh, we are on the right course. We are moving in the right direction, uh, going in the direction. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, you know, I, you're right, uh, from a rote learning, we have shifted gear towards uh, skill development, skill set, uh, you know, accumulation and all that. But it is happening at a very slow paces and only in selected sectors. Uh, but I think we need to enlarge that to all sectors. When I say even core engineering also have to adopt this and many of these things have to change. But we are in the right course, as I told you earlier. We are in the right direction. We are making some changes. But uh, this has to happen in a very big pace. Uh, with our NEP, I am hopeful that uh, this is going to take a big leap uh, in that direction. Wherein, you know, we could be sort of a leaders worldwide on this. But as you rightly said, our fundamentals are very strong. So, uh, our people are already leading in many of the world uh, top companies. So, Indian education is well known and IITs, particularly where I come from, you know, as IIT Guwahati is a director, it's also a very, uh, I mean, accepted brand all over the world. Okay. So, I think we are in a good times. I think we have a lot of work to do. Uh, it's not just uh, take a pride in, okay, we have a IITs brand and other things. IITs are a very small number. So, all our institutions have turned into IITs. In this means, such quality of work has to happen in majority of our institutions. I hope uh, it will happen in another 10 years to 15 years of time. With, uh, along with the implementation of NEP, we are going to reach those targets very effectively. I am very positive about it because very high uh, in, interest is there in all stakeholders, whether it is students, parents, or industries, or uh, educational institutions, all of them are want to do their best. I think this is a good environment and good positive spirit. I hope uh, it will be, we will be successful in delivering that the whole world needs. The focus areas are uh, teachers training. The first one is teachers training and the second one is uh, development of skill development, encompassing vocational and skill courses into our uh, uh, academic curriculums so that uh, they, they uh, synchronously learn about the skills in while in the college itself. Okay. And teachers education is very key because teachers uh, role is being changed now. They are going to be the facilitators and they have to be upfront with the disruptions in technology and the way we teach. So if you start teaching the way, oh, I mean, when we were students, uh, nobody, no, none of these younger generation is going to sit and listen to us because they are, have all the information. So. I feel a lot of changes have to be bring in. So AICT has taken a big step in teachers' education, particularly in the emerging areas. I hope uh, that will be very successful. Uh, I will answer this in two parts. Curriculum uh, is uh, quite frequently we are changing at AICT now. In the sense, 2017 we modified and given a model curriculum. And then again, we are now reworking the curriculum now uh, with all the committees uh, we are working on it. In addition to that, these autonomous institutions, we are empowering the institutions itself to also change the curriculum, the way they would like to impart to the students. So that's a big change. So a large number of institutions, we are even taking the autonomy to diploma colleges. So that very clearly shows that we are quite interested in uh, giving a lot of freedom to teachers, institutions to develop their own curriculum and modify and we ACT has given a body, uh, the model curriculum and this model curriculum also are being looked at by experts. Again, we started this operation now just about a month back. Hopefully we will review all the different courses and uh, bring a new curriculum to uh, for the benefit of the larger masses. Yes, definitely. See, COVID has given us that opportunity excellently well. You see, we have now a lot of flipped classrooms are getting into our uh, colleges. 
schools okay and uh, there are a lot of use of technology in the not just the powerpoint okay a lot of technology and no innovative methods of teaching is getting in as i told you we are also tying up with uh, nitters to see how engineering college teachers can be much more uh, whether it is pedagogy or use of technology or uh, you know modular development uh, of teaching and uh, with the even the chat gpt i think we need to also teach our teachers how to evaluate also you know whether how the students are how to give questions how to give how to frame projects and all that has to be changing in the scenarios of technology usage otherwise you know students uh, uh, would not learn so learning should be the focus and that is where i think uh, aict is making its effort to bring the changes into the system